but you do have uh, two leads. You're getting about six dollars and thirty seven cents a lead right now. Um, and so what you would do, we'll we'll do this after this because I do see a couple things that you can do to kind of improve this campaign. All right, so we got uh, Harold here. He was telling us that uh, he's got some uh, questions about a template that he's currently running for a client. Let me see if we can uh, we can get him help here on uh, fixing and optimizing his template. So it's a little bit different here on our Watch Me Build, where uh, instead of building a template from scratch, we're actually going to work with one um, and see what we can do to uh, to go ahead and improve it. And what's this niche again? Home automation. Okay, home automation. I mean, yeah, it's and what's do you know what the uh, um, uh, what the value of a lead is? Like when they get a lead, what it uh, what it usually will generate in revenue? Well, I was talking to the owner and he said that like a short short uh, sale that they do is around four hundred dollars. That's that's okay. Well then, do you know what his conversion rate is off of his leads? He's never he's never done this. He only okay. gets referrals. He do, he's never done Facebook ads or anything like that. Okay, all right. So we're still kind of in. I mean, six bucks a lead is not bad um, for a for a Facebook campaign. To be honest, I mean that's for, especially for for local type marketing. Six bucks a lead is not bad. Um, so I is that say, what it is right now? Yeah, you're at six dollars and thirty seven cents a lead right now. But how is that possible if if I got in zero leads? Uh, you got two leads. I got two leads. You have two leads right now, yeah. Okay. I mean, man. do you have it mapped to his Go High Level account to where the Facebook leads import? Yeah, yeah. Let me double check. I could sh I could just show you. Okay. Just... Yeah, go ahead and do that real fast. Uh, here. Hey, Jacob. Yeah. I'm going to let you take it from here, buddy. I just pulled up and I need to walk in. Cool. All right. Have a good one. All right, guys. All right. See ya. Yeah. This is his account. Uh, uh, go to settings real fast. And then go to uh, integration. So then just scroll down a little bit. And then go to Facebook form field mapping up there at the top. Okay, yeah, so you're not actually mapping the Facebook form. So you haven't gotten two leads from Facebook already. They just haven't come into high level because it's not mapped. So go ahead and wow. Um, yeah, so go ahead and click the map fields there. And then go ahead and hit save. So that's now going to automatically pull over those Facebook leads uh, into there. Now what you can do, I'm going to go ahead and take your mouse over again real fast. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So you can actually download his, um, his leads. Where is that at? This is all partner stuff. Probably over here. Yeah. That's still partner stuff. Uh, come on. That one. There we go. Uh, that's not that right one. Okay. Um, so you can actually download his leads. Are you an admin on his Facebook page? I believe so, yeah. Okay. So if you're an admin on his Facebook page, you can actually download the leads and then upload them into Go High Level for him. Um, so then that way, whatever automations you have can uh, can be set off. But you do have uh, two leads. You're getting about six dollars and thirty seven cents a lead right now. Um, and so what you would do, we'll, we'll do this after this, because I do see a couple things that you can do to kind of improve this campaign. Um, okay. Actually, but um, so you see right here where it's kind of this on Facebook leads and it's highlights blue. When you click yeah. on that, it'll let you download a CSV file of the Facebook leads and then you can upload that CSV file into go high level. So then that way they're in there for them. Uh, and then going forward, all the new leads should automatically import into go high level for them. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, right now your cost per lead is actually six bucks a lead. Now where did you have a better model? There's two types of click through rates. Okay. Um, there is click through rate all, which means this is the click that um, on anything. They click the like button, they click the comment, they click the the image. I mean, they, they could click anywhere on Facebook regarding your ad, and it gets counted as part of the click-through rate all. Then you have outbound click-through rate. This is the click-through rate that's the more important number, and it's the number that we show you in UpEx. All right, so okay. the outbound click-through rate shows you 
how many people actually click, and then in your case, the Facebook lead gen form actually opens, okay? Okay. Uh, for other, if you're doing like a, a landing page, it's they click, they actually go to the landing page. If they do a messenger campaign, they click, they actually open up messenger, right? So the outbound click-through rate is an important metric to track. And the reason why it's important is because it's telling you what is the, how, how well are you communicating to your audience what you're looking for, okay? Typically, okay. you want at least a 1% outbound click-through rate on Facebook ads, right? That's kind of your, your bare threshold. You're, you're basically at 0.5% uh, outbound click through rate. So you could, in theory, right, assuming all numbers still continue to stay exactly as they are, just by increasing your outbound click through rate from 0.5 to 1%, you actually could drop your cost per lead to around $3 a lead. And those two leads would have been four leads, right? So that's an optimization that we can definitely uh, take a look at. Now, here's where outbound click through rate um, is affected. There's a couple of different things uh, that that you want to check for. The first thing is that can affect an outbound click through rate is your offer. The second thing is your creative. And then the third thing is your communication. Now we can kind of filter out what is what by taking a look at the other metrics that Facebook kind of gives us. So we're going to go ahead real fast. And I want to go ahead and I want to see what your um, conversion rate actually is, okay? So what we're gonna do, I'm not gonna, and with your conversion rate, you want to, um, I want outbound clicks. Your conversion rate, you want it to be at least 10%. That's kind of a industry standard across the board, 10% conversion rates, what you're looking for. All right, so I'm gonna open up how many clicks your ads actually got, and then we can figure out what your actual conversion rate is off of that. So your conversion rate is 100%. <laughs> so you got two people to click the ad and two people converted, okay? So two people clicked to actually open up that lead gen form, two people converted. So you are looking fantastic <laughs> as far as that is concerned. So your problem really is coming down to um, the way you're communicating with people and potentially your targeting. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's take a look now at the, uh, the ad itself and let's see where we can uh, find some weaknesses here. If Facebook will load this up, please. <laughs> Let's do it. Why is the page unresponsive? Come on. There we go. Uh, maybe some of these other ones we can close out. Nah, I won't. It'll make the, it'll probably make Facebook freak out some more. So, Let's see. so usually my first thing that I like to check when you've got a low click through rate now with a hundred percent conversion rate, it, your offer is fine. You, you have zero issue with your offer. Where your problem is most likely is going to be how you're communicating that offer initially and your ability to stop people from actually continually scrolling on Facebook. So most likely, where your problem is, is going to be in the creative sector than it is anything else, right? So if if your landing, so if your actual lead gen form, let's say it only had like a 3% conversion rate, like let's say you're getting lots of clicks, but hardly anybody's converting. Well, you, you probably have a problem with your offer or the way you're communicating your offer. And so the way that you usually wanna work when you're kind of working through an optimization is you wanna assume your offer is good and then you're going to work through, work down from there. And then after you've exhausted those optimizations, if it's still not performing, then that's when you say, okay, my offer sucks. I need to redo it. Okay. So we're going to assume your offer is great, which based off of a hundred percent conversion rate thus far, I would say your offer's pretty solid. Um, now we just got to work backwards from the creative perspective. Um, all right. So let's see, what are you actually uh, building your mind time to add all the technology and amenities? Da, 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 da. Okay, all right. It looks like you got multiple headlines that you're testing as well, which is great. All right, and what is the actual offer that you're doing? Is it just to get home automation installed? It's a free consultation, so it's free. You click free, and we go to your house. We, you know, we check what you want. We check what they could offer, 
Uh, so yeah, it's just a free consultation for this type of uh, products. Okay. So right off the bat, one of the first things that I can tell right now is there isn't any call to action, right? So that's part of the reason why you're getting really low clicks is there isn't anything telling the user what do you want them to do, right? And then why do you want them to do it? What benefit is it to them of doing this, right? So let's just take this very first, um, but actually let's just start with the picture itself, right? So we've got these pictures. Pictures account for probably about 80% of the reason why somebody clicks. Uh, we spend way too much time trying to, you know, dial in the perfect long format copy. Most people are not going to read all that crap. They're going to look at the picture. They're going to look at the headline. They're going to say, oh, this is interesting. Then they're going to click and then learn more, right? So you want to make sure that those are covered first. Based off of your pictures, the problem that I'm kind of seeing is there's nothing in, I mean, this one right here, this last one is probably pretty good. Um, that communicates pretty well with a smart home thing, but the other two don't really do that very well. I mean, this one right here where the guy's just kind of sitting in a chair, you know, drinking a coffee and has stuff around him that doesn't really communicate very well what the point of your ad is. So that, that picture has got to go. I would pull this one off. All right. So if I was going to take this, I'm going to take this one off. Um, the one with the girl is playing with a very large, um, pad on the wall. I get that it's to, to control the home. Problem is, is you most people when they're thinking home automation, they're thinking, you know, Alexa's nests, Google stuff, right? So they're thinking small things. Having a giant pad on their wall is not going to be something that's going to be super enticing. So it's probably also not a very well performing image in that regard. Okay. So we're going to pull this one off as well. This one where somebody's got their phone out and you're and you're seeing an interaction in the room. That's a good picture. That's communicating home automation. That's what we're looking for. Okay. The other thing that you're going to want to try and do as well is try to incorporate, um, try to incorporate images with text. So Facebook no longer has the 20% rule. Uh, they got rid of that a couple years ago where you can only have 20% of your ad image have text on it. You can now do the whole thing as a, as text if you wanted to. So you want to utilize this really prominent real estate location on Facebook, right? You can do a 1080 by 1080, you can act, you know, story length, you got all kinds of sizes you can play with. Uh, utilize that with putting a strong call to action right there on that image, okay? So um, one of the things you could do right here on this image is you could say uh, with this home automation, you can say something to the effect of, uh, since you're doing a consultation, you could say, um, you know, automate your home, get started for free, right? That gives them a call to action. It tells them what the point and purpose is. And then when they click your lead gen form clearly is doing well because you've got a hundred percent conversion rate on there. Now, as you start shooting more traffic to that number is going to come down. Like there's no way you're going to maintain a 100%, right? Our goal is 10%. So one out of every 10 clicks converts. Um, but you've got to right now your, your lead gen form is healthy. So you don't want to change anything on that. You just need to communicate better with people on what that goal is. So we're going to make a new image. Um, the other thing too is the actual uh, headlines that you're having here. Um, now I see you got Facebook is, um, you know, testing out things. Uh, some of these are really good. Some of these would be really good as separate campaigns. Yeah. Um, and then some of these don't wouldn't make sense for what you're shooting for, right? So too many remotes, probably it, it's not a, it's not a compelling headline. It's not anything that's going to push somebody to do anything. Looking to automate your home. That's a good thing. It's a question. Questions are really good for headlines, right? So you want that, want more safety at home. That's another great headline, but that one should be its own campaign because it's a completely different mindset, right? Somebody who wants to put a smart thermostat in their house is not necessarily the same person who wants to install a security system, right? So you would want to split that off into its own campaign with its own calls to action and its own thought processes behind it. And then building or remodeling your house is another one that it doesn't communicate what you're trying to get them to do, right? Because building or remodeling your house, it could be a, a plumber. It could that, that headline could work for so many different industries that it doesn't really drive home what, what your goal is. Okay. So that's another headline that you would want to pull off. So your good ones that do really well, looking to automate your home, direct, it's a question, that's what you're looking for. And then want more safety at home is a great one, just 
you want that as a, a separate campaign with its own ad copy, with its own images, because it's a completely different mindset that somebody is in for that type. Okay, does that make sense so far? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna ask you, so on the copy, the call to action, if you look over here, so um, like at the end, I don't know if you could, let me see, let me go up real quick. It says, contact us today so we can help you create a customized technology plan. Mm -hmm. uh, would you recommend putting something a little bit like more aggressive, a little bit more, uh, you know, with like a better description? Like, what do you recommend at the end? Um, so the only thing I would change would be that contact us component. The you want to you you want people to fill out the Facebook lead gen form, right? That's what your goal is. Then from there, they're going to have additional journey. So at this point in time, what you want them to do is click and fill out the form. So instead of saying contact us today, so we can help you create your customized technology plan, it would be something more on the lines of fill uh, click here to fill out our form. Blah 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 blah. Right? You want to communicate the action you want the user to take in order for you to, to get the, the maximum success out of it. So that, that line you would want to change to click here to fill out our form. The other thing too, and this is a little, little tweak that you can make, give it a special name, right? So one of the things that we, we could take stuff that's super mundane. Like we do this all the time with our doctors, right? So we do a lot of stuff with the, in the medical field for our agency and they'll do a doctor consultation. Hey, everybody's gone to a doctor consultation where you say, Hey doc, I'm you know feeling sick. What do you think it is? You know, super mundane run of the mill thing but by changing the way you call it all of a sudden it now becomes a special experience right so instead of saying let's say you're going in for um neuropathy right let's say you're, you're doing neuropathy and you could do a, a, a neuropathy consultation or you can change it to instead of saying hey you're going to get a doctor's consultation we're going to go ahead and do our comprehensive neuropathy exam right immediately changes everything right so you could say uh, you know, fill out this form today to get your, um, you know, your, let's see, instead of the technology plan, you could say contact us today to get your, um, I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll think of something, but you'll, uh, I'm not having any ideas flow to me right now, but you can give it some sort of a unique name that fits and makes it to where now you're doing something different, even with exactly the same thing that maybe other home automation companies are doing. But it's a different name, so it's therefore now something different that nobody else can now do, right? Got it, got it, got it. So let's go ahead um, and let's first start on the images, and we'll we'll start actually building this up in Upex here as well. So we'll start showing you how to uh, uh, to build this in Upex. So I'm gonna I'm gonna share my screen now, um, and I'm gonna but leave your your stuff up so that way I can jump back and forth um and copy things over over into uh apex okay perfect so go ahead and uh shoot over now to over here so now we're in apex all right and i'm going to go ahead and we're going to create a new template here we're just going to do this as a home automation campaign we're going to go ahead and enable this and we're going to go ahead and create a new category we're just going to call this the home automation category all right let me go back over here and sorry, I'm going to be jumping back and forth. No worries. No worries. <laughs> First little bit here. And then, uh, then you'll have complete control over your screen again. All right. So first thing I want to grab is, let me actually look at these. See, we don't want to do too many remotes. Yeah. See, and you can even tell in your own ad copy, right? Look at the difference between raise your hand. If you fear somebody breaking your home, versus this very first one, which is Miami building or remodeling your house. It's time to add all the technology and amenities, right? The two very different thought processes. So you, you definitely want to split those. Uh, yeah, I up. added I added the, the, set, the one on the bottom for the second time just to try it out to see if it worked, you know, but yeah, I, you, I completely get you. Perfect, all right, so we've got Miami building remodeling your house and it's good. So what we'll do too in this template is we're just gonna do a custom value so that way you can use this for anybody, right? So we'll go ahead and do city name, uh, building or remodeling your house. We can stick with that. Um, or what we can do instead is we can say, looking to upgrade your house, right? Because if you're building or remodeling, you're probably looking to upgrade from where you're currently at. So it allows you to cover everything while still kind of sounding techy, okay? Okay, okay. Looking to upgrade your house, it's time to add all that technology and amenities, you know, to your dream home. 
Boom, boom, boom. Perfect. Okay. And then we'll change this contact us today. Um, and instead we'll say fill out or say click here to fill out the form on Facebook and get a customized technology plan and get a customized technology plan. We'll do that. All right. Now back over here, go back over here real fast. And then we'll go ahead and grab the headline. So we're going to do look to, looking to automate your home. Okay. We'll go back over here to Upex real fast. And then link description, we'll go ahead and do a limited time offer. You can do whatever you want. I This little link description thing is the tiny little words at the bottom of an ad that nobody ever reads anyway. So <laughs> I usually just throw limited time offer, call it good. Um, you only get a tiny little bit anyways in there. All right, so now let's go ahead um, and let's build out an ad for you. We're just going to do one ad design, um, but it'll give you kind of a jumping off point. Um, for and I'm immediately going to banner stack even though I bet everybody wants me to use Canva. So let me switch over to Canva. Hold on. Oh Canva. Bane of my existence. Alright. One day I will like it, I promise. <laughs> Projects, that's right. That's where you put it. Okay, and then I want folders. Apex design items. And then we're gonna go ahead and do um, we'll do home automation. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and create a design now. And we're going to go ahead. I'm just going to do a, a Facebook ad design size for this case rather than doing the story design. Um, it'll just be a little bit faster to get off the ground with that. Um, and then we want to go... Can I do it based off of? Looks like I can. Can I? Is there a technology? Maybe website. What does that do? Okay, perfect. This is actually exactly what we're looking for. Design just like this. Very techy, right? Anybody that looks at that's going to say, oh, "Okay, this is technology." All right. So let's go ahead and let's do Shutterstock here real fast. We're going to do home automation. All right. And again, we, what we want to see is like what that picture was, right? They're doing something and then something is happening in their house. You want to see that, that combination. So like this one would be good with the exception of this looks like you're a very rich person. So <laughs> probably not the most mass market appeal that we're looking for. Um, let's see. What else do we got here? Like what is with all of these stock photos of, not what we're looking for. Um, this one could potentially work here. You'll also notice a theme too, and this will kind of give you an idea of where to target. Um, and I bet if I looked at your data, it would back this up. But you notice how most of the people actually utilizing the technology are women, but then most of the people installing the technology are men. So yeah. it's going to tell you which... Uh, Who's going to benefit, but who's actually going to be the purchaser, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what we want to see is none of these things. All right. So let's do this smart home instead of home automation. Let's see what we get. I just don't like, like some of these cons conceptually are good but I am just not a fan of how they would look. Okay, this is decent, actually. I know it doesn't have any technology in it, but that actually could potentially work. Um, we, this one works because he's looking where we want him to look as far as words are concerned. And this actually would work as well. Before I go any further on those pictures. Where are you at here? I'm going to go right. I just want to double check my hunch on this data real fast. I'm going to break this down by gender, please. Wait, that's the wrong account. <laughs> yes, it is. That's the right account. Yeah, that's the right one here. 
Okay, looks like you're, uh, yep, I, that's what I thought it was going to be. All right. Damn, you nailed it. So, we know we're not going to be using any of these pictures then. This one would work. Okay. This one will definitely work. This one would work too. Now, which one is going to work? The, this one will work. Yeah, this one will work for your security because it's got the lock on it. So that one would work for your security angle. Okay. Um, this one actually, even though it's a gigantic pad on the wall, because it's the same screen on her phone as it is up there, that actually looks, that actually would work. So the hard part, ugh, this is the hard part, is when people think home automation, they're thinking like a very specific thing, right? They're thinking like, oh, I want an Amazon Alexa, or oh, I want, you know, because you're trying to like, yeah. what, here's what you're going to get in your house. I don't know about you, but I don't want a giant thing on my wall. <laughs> like, <clears throat> All right, I'm going to be way too picky here, and I'm going to just get lost in the sea of Shutterstock. So I'm just going to go with what I got, and we're going to go with it. So we're going to go with this one. We'll just do this one for now. Because otherwise, this is my problem when I create stuff. I will get super picky, and at the end of the day, all that really matters is do you communicate your message well enough? So... <laughs> yeah. All right, so we got this now. Perfect. Here, okay, so then I'm going to position this to the back, right? Okay, progress. And then what I actually want to do, can I rotate this? Yes, I can, okay. And we're going to put this right there. All right, perfect. Okay, then we're headline we had discussed. We're going to go ahead and do, um, see, what's our headline that we already chose here? We chose looking to automate. Looking to automate your home. Okay, so we're going to we're gonna reemphasize that um, by saying. I think you mentioned, like, automate your home, start for free. Yep. So If in complete, uh, completely automate your home with ease. Start for free. There we go. All right. And then what we're going to need to do is shrink that down so it actually fits. 48. That needs to drop down to 48 then. Then we need to do, 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 drag that down. And then I can actually make this bigger. 55. Okay, that'll work. Perfect. Okay, so there you go. Now we've got a add design. And you see how different that is too from yeah. what, we were, what we were doing before? Yeah, there's a message, there's a call to action on the picture itself. Perfect. All right, so we're going to go ahead and download that real fast. Go over here to Apex and throw this in here. Perfect. We're just going to do the one for now. You can always add more pictures and whatnot as you need to as well. Um, okay, so we're going to do our form type. We're going to do more volume in this case. Uh, the background image conveniently, uh, we'll go ahead and just use image format. It keeps everything consistent there. And then since we know that your thing works, there is no need to change anything about your lead gen form. Okay. So we will just go ahead and copy your lead gen form verbatim. We don't need to change anything about it. I'm just going to scroll down here to our instant form. We'll go ahead and duplicate so I can actually take a look at what's going on here. Looking to automate your home. See, very nice. And look, you did the city again. So see, that's, 
this is definitely your top performing ad copy too. So you, you we're, uh, we're we're doing we're doing good. But you can see why now that we've talked about things and kind of talked about why why we do certain things, why your lead gen form is performing as well as it is. Yeah. And so the only thing I'll do here is I'll just change out Miami and do a custom value for city dot name. We got that. And then I don't believe you're probably asking any other questions, are you? No. I think you're just let me just verify. Yeah, just name, email, phone number, perfect. You doing any kind of disclaimer? Nope. Perfect. And then when you got anything, okay. And then just a standard completion page. Um, so are they doing a voucher? Or are they doing this? That is a little different from a consultation. So what, what exactly are they getting on the other end of this? Uh, well, on the first one, when it was a landing page, it was kind of like a voucher. Uh, on this one, is just as soon as they, you know, put their information, they give them a call. Okay. Use this information to schedule your home automation consultation. Okay. We'll go ahead. We all all you want is their name, phone, and email. Correct. You don't need any other. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's it. All right. Your. Thanks. You're all set. I'll go ahead and put that out. Um, so we will be contacting you shortly to set up your free home automation consultation. Learn more about us. All right, perfect. All right, so now we're, what the good news is, is you already have a little bit of data that we can work off of. So we already know, oops, I'm totally just not where I want to be. We already know females are definitely going to be where we're going to target. So there's no point of even showing your ads to guys. Okay. Okay. Um, the other piece of information that we want to kind of find out is what age are we looking for? My hunch is the younger demographic already knows how to do their own home automation. So they're not really going to be interested in having that done for them. Okay. So you're most likely, my hunch is the two people who uh, who converted are going to most likely be in the older grouping. And there, wouldn't you have it, 55 and older. So I would put your ad targeting here on Upex. So I would say we're going to go for females, age 50, and eh, eh, we'll go 45. We'll go f uh, 45 to 65 plus. Okay. Uh, and then... We probably, I'm going to guess your radius here. Where, how big is your ads? How big is your audience size? Let's take a look. I think I have three cities and oh. they're all 10 miles. Okay, perfect. Yeah, you've got quite a few people. So we can keep it as is then. So we can do that. So there, now you've got a template created for you here in Upex. Um, you know, with, you got a, a little bit of a better design now here for your ad image. I'll go ahead and put this in just so you can. Uh, that way, the this cover image for those of you on Upex, um, that's where it shows on your My Templates, so you, you'd see what the picture is. That's what that little thing is. Um, so you got this one in here. You can upload your own media as well. Um, I will send. Uh, actually, I can share it with you right now. But this is right here. So anyone with the link. So I'll go ahead and put this here in the chat. Um, and then the custom value, real quick um for uh the city name so you can create them it's a little confusing i we might not be doing a very good job on custom values so the way that custom values work inside of apex is you can name them anything you want they're not connected to high level right so whatever custom values you make in high level don't don't shoot over to apex and vice versa that isn't something that uh high levels api does right now where the custom values will sync up unfortunately um, so what it is, is you can create a custom value and all it has to be formatted in is those brackets and then whatever the name of that custom value you want to be. Um, so in this case, it's city dot name, right? So the dot is the space in between the words. So what it actually shows uh, to the end user, it'll be city name. Um, but you can name them anything you want. Uh, as long as you keep the same naming structure, they do get saved in Upex. And so when a user fills it out, it's saved and then they can go on from there. Um, so that way they don't have to uh, um, fill it in over and over and over. And then the, the question is actually asked when they're launching the campaign. So if they pulled up the home automation template 
and then they click to launch the campaign where you enter your budget and uh, your website, there'll then be a new field added that'll say city name. And then they would type in Miami, Orlando, Florida, you know, whatever, right? And then that would automatically get added into the ad copy. Um, so that's for uh, um, for Auto Glass Booking Bot. Um, that's, uh, that's how the custom value there works. Um, but I put the Canva link in there so you guys can grab that. You can edit there. You can throw in whatever other pictures you're looking for. Uh, I recommend having four images that you want to test. Uh, and then the other thing that you can do as well is now that you've also got that um, concept for uh, home security, you can actually just hit duplicate template here. And now you can do home automation security, right? Kind of do the same thing here. And then you can put in that text that you had for the security, change out the headline for the security, upload the pictures, and there you go. Now you've got another template that you can that you can put out there. So it's just as easy as that. So perfect. All right. Well, we're actually out of time. It's already uh, 12 o'clock here, central time. Um, thank you for, uh, for joining us. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, any uh, last minute questions before I, uh, I jump off? Jacob, thank you so much for your help, man. Really nope. appreciate it. Not a problem. Anytime you guys have a good rest of your uh, Friday and have a good weekend.